Good morning, this is Luke Thomas Holmquist here at the Earthquake Forecast Center, quakeprediction.com. It is 9.05, 9.05 in the morning on Monday, December 27th, 2021. 9.05 in the morning on December 27th, Monday, 2021. And uh, let's get to the warning in California. We finally got a peak in risk. And I'll show you that right here. Here it is, we finally got a peak in risk and it's, uh, that peak in risk is on the 28th, if you look at the graph here. And so this uh, large earthquake, 6.7 to 7.5 is now likely the 27th, 28th or 29th, either side of that peak. Most likely day is the 28th of December, tomorrow, uh, Tuesday. This quake, the 6.2 that hit uh, west of Petrolia, Northwest California, hit 12 hours after this, uh, this peak, the peak was on the 19th and it hit on the 20th. So again, the risk is from uh, the 27th, the 28th or 29th, most likely to hit on the 28th. And here's the uh, forecast map. We have a new one right here. We'll get to it in a second. Um, 6.7 to 7.5 earthquake is likely in California. Today, the 27th, 28th or 29th, most likely here in the San Francisco Bay and even more likely right, right around uh, Daly City. Right in the San Francisco Bay is where this quake should hit, uh, most likely tomorrow on the 28th, but I have a feeling it's gonna hit today on the 27th. But the risk goes out through the 29th, 27th, 28th, and 29th. And uh, something interesting here, uh, usually just before a large quake, this number of earthquakes per day drops. So for example, before a big quake, usually the average is about 100 uh, small quakes or big quakes every day, about 100 quakes. And right now we're at 48, 48 quakes around the California area here. And it's extremely low. I think the, the lowest I've ever seen it was about 55. 55 was about the lowest I've seen it. Now it's at 48. I actually saw it yesterday at 40, 44 quakes. So we were definitely... Uh, Definitely ready here for a significant quake. And um, so here's the map for today, the 27th, 28th, and 29th. And we have a major earthquake is likely in California during the next 48 hours, most likely in the San Francisco Bay. And here's the forecast for uh, the 29th through the 30th. That risk remains in the San Francisco Bay, but extends down to uh, Coalinga, Parkfield, San Simeon, Monterey, right in that area, and northwest of uh, Los Angeles to Cal uh, San Francisco Bay on the 29th and 30th. But right now, the 27th and 28th, the risk is centered right here in the San Francisco Bay. So please warn your friends and family, we're looking for a major quake in the San Francisco Bay uh, today, tomorrow, or the 29th, most likely today or tomorrow, the 27th or 28th. Uh, the risk is now reaching a peak here on the 28th. So we should see that quake today, tomorrow, or on Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, most likely on Tuesday. According to the data, I have a funny feeling that's going to hit on the 27th today. All right, let's uh, get back to that in a minute. Let's look at the uh, Alaska data here. Risk is very high across Alaska. You can see this graph here. Uh, this peak here produced a 5.9. And the risk right now, 27th is right in here. So uh, we're looking for a strong earthquake uh, today through the 30th. And uh, that risk is right here from uh, kind of like in southeast and central portion of Alaska from Anchorage. Uh, to Valdez and that area. Uh, strong earthquake is likely uh, during the next uh, 48 hours or so. Um, I wish we had a better pinpoint on the, on the data like we do here in uh, on California. And we'll be working on that, but it looks like a strong earthquake during the next 48 hours in the Anchorage area. And we will see what happens there. All right, in Japan, the risk is centered down near uh, Chiba, just southeast of Tokyo today. 
And that's for the next uh, 12 to 24 to 36 hours. And then the risk is up here near uh, Sapporo and Aomori and the Hokkaido region of Japan in the far north on the 28th and 29th. And the risk, overall risk is pretty low in Japan. So if, if a quake does hit on these forecasted risk areas, it should be like between 4.5 and 5.0 because the overall risk is low. All right, back here on the 14th and 15th, we had a bunch of quakes off of uh, off the coast here of Tokyo. And that's when this risk was higher here. <clears throat> and in Greece, the risk is down here near Crete. And I believe we're having some action down there. Yeah, 4.0, 4 4.4 and a 5.6 down in that area, down in the Crete area. That's where the risk is high right now. So, uh, Next uh, 24 to 36 hours down here in Crete is the high risk area. All right, let's go back to the California warning again. The risk has finally had a peak here. We've been waiting for that to happen. And now the peak is on the 28th. So that means the, the major quake in California will hit either on the 27th, 28th on this peak here, or the 29th, the day after. The uh, 6.2 Northwest California hit 12 hours after the peak on the 20th. So we'll see. Uh, I think it'll hit uh, on the 27th today, but the quake uh, should hit uh, the 27th, 28th, or 29th in California. And uh, it could hit anywhere in California, but most likely in the San Francisco Bay near Daly City, right around that area. Um, in San Francisco, the city of San Francisco, right in that area. It's kind of scary, actually, if we get that kind of a, a strong earthquake in, in uh, San Francisco Bay. I don't want to think about what will happen, but uh, that's what the data is showing right now is uh, a major earthquake in California. And you can see this risk is higher. The risk is at 6.7. This is a 6.2. This was supposed to be a 5.4, but it was a 5.8. So the risk level is at 6.7. So we could get a 6.7 as likely up to a 7.5 as possible in the San Francisco Bay, and that would be a terrifying situation. Uh, we'll see what happens, but that's what the data is saying. 6.7 is likely in the San Francisco Bay uh, during the next uh, today, tomorrow, or the 29th, most likely on Tuesday, but I have a feeling it'll hit today on the 27th. And then the risk uh, continues across San Francisco Bay down to northwest of LA on the 29th and 30th. So. Please uh, warn your friends and family to be to pre prepared for this quake. It's going to be a strong quake. I have never seen this kind of uh, variance levels in the last 17 years of research. Absolutely incredible. Uh, risk level in, uh, during the 2014 quake was at uh, 50 units of risk. And uh, the 6.5 that hit in Idaho back in March 31st of 2020 that had a risk level at about 60 units. And the risk level was at uh, 75. I, I just, it's just absolutely incredible risk level here in the San Francisco Bay uh, for the next uh, 48 hours or so. Um, I'm very concerned about the San Francisco Bay. And uh, please warn your friends and family, I, I can't afford to, uh, post this all over the internet. So I leave it up to you guys to spread the news. Um, we have 187,000 followers here at, on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube, 187,000 people, but uh, majority of those are in Japan. So we need your help to spread the news because I, I can't afford to, to do this. Um, right now I'm only making 10 to $20 a day uh, from the advertisement on this site. So it's, it's not enough to spread the news, but please, uh, after 17 years of research, this uh, forecast model works extremely well. So I leave it up to you to spread the news. Major earthquake is likely in California, most likely in the San Francisco Bay, 27th, 28th or 29th, most likely on Tuesday, but I think it'll happen today. Thank you. And uh, please warn your friends and family and stay safe. Thanks.